guys and welcome back so for today's video is part of the youtubers weekly stamping collab and the theme is 4th of July and here are the pictures of the ladies that participated in this collaboration so let go with my design so before I apply my color gels onto my nails I'm going to apply my base gel which is the brand Azure which is this one I got this no, I didn't get this one. I repurchased this after they sent it to me to try it out for free. And I enjoyed it. So this is my go-to base gel. I get this. I buy this one at Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. It's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my base gel onto all of my nails first. That spot you see there is not my old guys. It's just from my previous old acrylic set I had on. It does not want to come off. It's being stubborn. But yeah, I'm applying color gel on top of it so it doesn't really matter. So for my pinky nail, index nail, and thumbnail, I'm applying this Finger Paints Keeping It Realism White Gel Polish. This is my first time using it after I bought it like a few months ago. I bought it and I'm just coming to it, trying it out. And it's really good. It's not streaky or bumpy. The one I do have issue with, white gel polish, is from Model Ones. Doesn't work out that good for me. But this one, surprisingly, it does. It's, it's working really good. And as you can see, that's just one coat. And it covers up, like, pretty much all of it. But I do go ahead and add two coats so it could be more opaque. For my ring fingernail, I am using this blue shimmer gel polish from Model Ones in the shade Planet. For my middle fingernail, I'm going to use this gel polish from Arte Clavos in the number 1440. It's a very pretty red with shimmer. Since the blue has shimmer, I decided to use a red that has shimmer too so it could coordinate with this design. And like I said before, for my index and thumbnail, it's going to be in that white gel polish. After this layer cured in the lamp, I did go ahead and add another layer off camera. I'm running low on memory so I couldn't record it all. So I'm going to be using this Model 1 shade called Nebula and it's a glitter topper. It has like holographic, not holographic, it's like pinkish, bluish, iridescent flakies with fine shimmer glitter and it's so pretty. You could add this glitter topper on top of any shade of nail polish you have on because it's super pretty so I'm adding it to the thumbnail because for the thumbnail I'm gonna add like fireworks and these could be like little stars so for my index nail I'm gonna do a dry water marble and I'm using that same blue shade the red the red the red shade those gel polishes I use on my other nails and I'm using dreamy silver which is like a silver glitter gel polish from model one so I'm using my liner brush and I'm just trying to swirl the colors and I did notice that if you do swirl it a lot, especially the blues and the reds together, creates that purple shade. So I forgot to like not swirl them too much, especially when they're close to each other, because it does create a purple shade. And that is not the colors for 4th of July. But in the end, it looked pretty good because I did go ahead and add some white polish to try to separate the colors a little bit. And you know that extra sparkle, the dreamy silver adds to it. Now it's time for some stamping. I'm using regular polish. This one is from Zoya in shade Carmen. This is a Beauty Big Bang blue stamping polish number 001. I'm using Essie Silver called No Place Like Chrome. And I'm using Born Pretty Christmas S001 stamping plate. And this stamping plate has fireworks. I'm using my clear rectangular stamper from Beauty Big Bang and the Beauty Big Bang scraper. So I'm just going to add three types of fireworks on my thumbnail in the shade blue, red, and that silver.
On this plate, BBB009 from Beauty Big Bang, I am using that star image. That it, This is a Christmas stampy plate, but I thought these star images will look perfect on top of the red nails, so I decided to stamp it at an angle, and that's how it looks. I used the silver chrome polish so I can make it pop. And lastly, the last stampy plates I'm using is BM20. This is one of Bundle Monsters, well now Maniology, OG stampy plates I got ooh, years back. So I want to use the image of the stripes because I'm going to add that to the pinky nail, some red stripes, you know, for the American flag. And on top of the red stripes, I am going to go ahead and do like a drip and the blue gel polish, the same blue I used for my ring finger in the shade Planet. I should have added like a white base so the blue could pop because it does kind of look like a dark blue. You'll see when I get to it. Here it is. I'm going to be drawing the drip with my liner brush. As you can see when it lands on top of the red, it does look like a really, really dark blue. Should have added a white base there, but I forgot. But either way, still look good in the end. So I'm just going to continue and draw these drips in the blue. On top of the drip, I'm going ahead and draw some little white dots. I originally wanted to add some little tiny white stars, but I thought I took the plate out of the stars but I didn't and I wasn't gonna go back in because I already prepped my nails and everything so I just went ahead and just added those little white dots and here is my finished look I did go ahead and stamp another image a different image from the same one of those stamping plates I was using on my middle finger it was completely different stars and for my thumbnail it was those polka dots that was in the fireworks stamping plate yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this fun Manny design. I did go ahead and add some bling bling. On the blue nails, I added some stones in red, a white opal, and blue. You know, red, white, and blue. So I hope you guys have a fun 4th of July and make sure you stay safe too. I don't know, I think it was like two years ago. I got burned from sparklers on my toes. From sparklers, I always use sparklers. I thought they would never burn you or something, and it did. So guys, be safe with the fireworks. and. I hope you have fun too and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!